we're building a giant slingshot to test which trash can rocket flies better, a rubber three fin or a metal four fin. Whichever one's better is the one we're going to use to test our propellants. So Grant, yes, see? I'm going to lay out the bolts, and then you can just go ahead and start putting them in. Grant and I are building a giant slingshot made of two by fours so it's strong, and using surgical rubber to pull the can back. We're using a cranking system to pull back the surgical rubber and then launch these trash cans so we can test how they fly. There you go, that's good, that's sturdy. All right, good. All right. Let's do the, the, this well, one. We gotta first. test this first, it has no stabilizing fins. I mean, this is just gonna fly however it's gonna fly. After that, let's test the rubber with three fins and then the metal with four fins. Yeah. Three, two, one. Go! That wasn't bad at all. Well, it definitely works for garbage cans. It does. <laughs> yeah, Go! it was marginal. I think we can do way better than that. Let's try again. This is the design that has a nose cone and stabilizing fins on it. And it should fly in a better trajectory than the last one. We checked with our friends at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory to figure out the trajectories. <laughs> Look at it, nose dived. Did you see it nose dived? Yeah. And it stayed intact. Yeah. Not bad. What it did was what we wanted to do. The trajectory was nice and smooth. It didn't tumble and it didn't do something funny. It just went on a nice smooth arc. So that means it actually flew pretty well. That was a good one, dude. I mean, that was a good one. That was really a good one.